Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can we give God some praise? Can we give God some praise? We thank him for what he is doing. We thank him for what he is going to do. Anybody expecting a great thing during this service? I say anybody expecting a great thing during this service? Come on, let's give God some praise for what he's getting ready to do. We give honor to the pastor of this church, Pastor Jonathan Farrell, Lead Lady Farrell, all the ministers, stewards, and you and you in your respective places. We give honor to even the ones that are watching because everybody is somebody in the eyesight of God. Can I get a witness? Now we will have the scripture by Brother Warner. Scripture, please. Let's give him a hand. Righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou have prepared the table for me in the presence of thy enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you, Brother Warren. Amen. We thank God for his word, because everything is going down for the word of God. Uh, at this time, we're going to pray, because the Bible said man shall always pray in season and out of season. Let us go before the throne of grace. Good morning, Jesus. How do you do? Lord, we're so glad to be here. Lord, we come to thank you. We come to worship and honor and praise you too. Father, thank you for letting us ar arrive here safely with no hurt, harm, or danger to come upon us. Father, we tell you, thank you. Father, we thank you for our late lying down and our early rise this morning. Now, Father, we come humbly before the throne of grace. Father, we come boldly, but we come humble as a child before a kind parent. Now, Father, we ask that you bless this service. Father, we ask that you come on by. Father, we ask that you that we that you send your Holy Spirit, Paracleti, to have his way in this service. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Do what you want to do as long as you want to. Have your way, Lord, have your way. Father, now we ask you that you bless everyone under the sound of my voice. That when the Holy Spirit comes, that we open up to receive and have a ready spirit. Father, we ask you when the word is brought forth to stop, to stop deaf ears, unstop deaf ears, that they may hear the word of the Lord. Father, we ask you that you take our, our pastor up to your storehouse, crown his head with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Hold him up to your storehouse. Use him like never before. Talk to him like never before. Order his words and order his steps during this service. Father, bless the praise team. Father, bless the offering. Bless everything that's going to happen in this service. Father, let us do it in a spirit of joy so you can get the glory. Father, we thank you for the spirit that's in here right now. Father, we, we, we thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you for what you have done. Father, bless the first lady. Crown her head with wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Also, take her up to your storehouse and bless her. Build up where she's weak and toned down. 
Father, for you know what she needs, and we ask that you get, give it to her. Now, Father, we ask that all of us that are here at this service, that they get what we need. And, Father, we'll be so careful to give your name the glory and the honor because we know it was you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let every heart say amen. Let every heart say amen. Let every heart say amen. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise the Lord because he's been good. At this time, the praise team is going to take us higher in Jesus' name. Let's give him a hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Say, hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Why don't you lift your hands? Why don't you lift your voice? Why don't you tell God how good he is on today? Why don't you tell God that you are a good father? You are a good counselor. You are a way maker. You are a promise keeper. Oh, holy one, we thank you on today. We bow before you on today. We set the atmosphere on today. We posture our hearts unto you, Father. There's nobody like you. There's nobody greater. There's nobody wiser. Lord, we thank you on today. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. And you're standing next to someone, say, get ready for a move. Tell your neighbor, say, get ready for a move. Hallelujah, I feel a shifting in the atmosphere on today. I feel a shifting in the atmosphere on today. Let's pull on God. Let's pull on God. Let's pull on God. Let's pull on God. He's here. He's here. He's here. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we praise your name. Because you are good. You are good, Father. You are good, Father. And we praise you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. Hallelujah, Jesus.
last time. We give you
for God I die. Look at your neighbor and say, you dead yet? Come on, say, are you dead yet? I got some ways in my life that need to die. You got some ways in your life that should have been dead. But on today, I present my body. Joshua, I say, I present my body. Come on, look at somebody and say, I present my body. A living sacrifice. Somebody say, holy. Say, holy. Say, holy. Say, holy. Acceptable unto God. And the Bible says, the Bible says that's a regional service, Brother Coney. That's the least you can do. That's the... I don't know, I just like coming to atmospheres like this. Well, I know that I ain't done everything right. How about you? I know I ain't said everything right. How about you? I know I didn't do everything the Holy Spirit instructed me. How about you? But he still gave me grace. Nicky Nicole, he still gave me grace. And I refuse to sit down on God. Because I know, I believe that he never sat down on me. The Bible says that Jesus is on the right hand making intercession before his people. And guess what Jesus is doing? He's standing up. If Jesus could stand, if Jesus could stand for you, then you ought to stand for him. I'm talking about Monday morning stand for holiness. Tuesday on your job, stand for righteousness. Wednesday, stand for righteousness. Watch this. I was reading. How many of y'all read your Bible? Um, how many read your Bible sometimes? Hey, man, other than Sunday morning. I was reading my Bible, and I was reading the scripture in 2 Samuel. Hey man, I think it's the sixth chapter. And it was when David brought the Ark of the Covenant because it was at Edomeneus' house for three months. And David didn't have a house for the Ark of the Covenant to dwell. But while the Ark of the Covenant was at Edomeneus' house, then David's kingdom was built, his house, for the Ark of the Covenant to dwell. He said, Pastor, what is the Ark of the Covenant? Look at somebody and say, his presence. Come on, his glory, his power. Come on, say his glory, his presence, and his power. So the Bible said when it was bringing the Ark of the Covenant from Eobanus' house, that the, 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 the Ark of the Covenant kind of tilt and slipped. And there was a young man that tried to help it and touched it. He already knew that nobody was supposed to touch the Ark of the Covenant. What happened to him, Pastor? The Bible said because of his disobedience, he had to obey, and he didn't obey, but he dropped dead at that moment. What I'm trying to get you to understand is this. When they brought the Ark of the Covenant to David's house, the Bible said, I need you to get that for me. Get your Bible. Get, get that young man a mic. Hallelujah. Yay. I think I remember what's that. Second Samuel. Look at second. Turn to second Samuel, brother. Second Samuel six and fourteen. Give me. Second Samuel six and fourteen. Hear what David did when the presence of God, the power of God, and the provision of God came to his house. And the word declares, and David danced before the Lord with all his might. He what? With all his might. Uh-huh. And David was greeted with a linen ephod. The Bible said when the ark of the law, with the presence of God, came into the house in the Old Testament, something happened. The atmosphere changed. People got excited. They didn't get no money. It wasn't a car. They didn't get a new job. They didn't get a new house or husband. They didn't get a child. But because of his presence, Brother Ricky, when his presence filled the house. Amen. And I believe that every time a group of the saints come together, that his presence, somebody say his presence. 
his presence to fill the house. And I think we ought to do the same thing that David did. Because David was a man of the God on God on heart. The Bible say that David dashed when the Ark of the Covenant came. I come to let you know today, the Ark of the Covenant is here. The Ark of the Covenant is here. And if the glory of God, the power of God, the provision of God, you... Hold on down. Even, even if you do this. Come on, y'all stand up. No kids should be standing. Stand up. I'd rather dance for God than dance out there in the world. I'm dancing because I got the victory. Watch this. Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. I would dance like David danced. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David. Dance like David. Y'all remember that? I will dance. Dance like David. Now put your hands together. Give a prayer. That's all I'm going to be doing in heaven anyway. You won't be reading your Bible in heaven. You won't be witnesses in heaven. The only thing you're going to be doing is giving God praise. Giving God glory. Bowing. This one thing will be. Come on, when the Spirit of the Lord. When the Spirit of the Lord fall upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. When the Spirit of the Lord falls upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. Dance, dance, dance like David danced. Dance, 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 when situations get to a point where I don't know what else to do, God told me to dance. Dance and says you got the victory. Dance and says you won't be a defeated another day in your life. Dance. Because we got the victory. You're gonna win again. I say you're gonna win again. I know what the doctor report says, but you're gonna win again. If it's one thing that I know, I know that you will win again. If it's one thing, I know that you will win again. If it's one thing, come on, you say you will win. For your children, say it for your wife, say it for your husband. If it's one thing that I know, one thing that I know, you will win. You will win again. One thing that I know, you will win again. 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 The Bible tells me you will win again. The Bible says you're more than a conqueror. Situation looks like 
when God say I'm in control, oh, I'm talking to somebody. You've been going through a rough patch in your life. It seems like all hell has broken out. But you in the right place at the right time with the right prophet. God say, this ain't the end, but this is the beginning. I'm getting ready to feel you. I'm getting ready to flood you. This is a win and season. This is a win and season. This is a win and season. You will win again. 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 Oh, you will win again. Come on, put your hands together. Give God praise. Come on, saints, put your hands together and give Jesus a round of applause. Let the church say yeah. yeah. Say yeah. yeah. Come on, just one word. Yeah. Sing with me. Yeah. yeah. Lift your voice and say yeah. 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 I went to the hospital just yesterday. And I seen a young lady that was on a ventilator. She couldn't even breathe on her own. If she was breathing, amen, it was like 30 or 40%. And with her was her two daughters, amen, with almost tears in their eyes. Amen, they had been to the hospital for at least two or three days. And when I walked in the, the room, I began to feel love. I began to feel sorrow. How many know you can feel love and sorrow at the same time? Yeah, we love God and we know that we're connected with God, but humanity kicks in when somebody that you truly love, somebody that you truly care for is in a situation that's out of your control. How many of you ever been in a situation that you couldn't control? And when I looked, went in the room, I felt love and I felt sorrow. And we began to sing songs. We began to pray as unto the Lord. Amen. And the whole atmosphere of the room changed. Why? Because the Bible say, I am my brother's keeper. keeper. Amen. And we begin to sing songs and pray together and laugh. Amen. I said that to say this. You never know when God is going to call your number. And if you got breath still in your body, if you got blood still running warm in your veins, people think when I come to this church, I just want to be an emotional person. No, you don't know my story. I don't know where you've been through. You see, the salvation that we have is never predicated on a feeling. Somebody say, I know God saved me. I know God delivered me. Miracle boy, I know the real me. You know how you used to be, born in sin. My mother sharpened me in iniquity. But when I got a chance, when I got an opportunity, I'm talking about me because I know some of y'all a little bit now. On December 8th of 96, Brother Ricky, I got tired. I got tired of doing it my own way. Every now and then I get called up doing that. I got tired of saying things I want to say. And that's the day I gave my life to Christ. And since that day, amen, Brother Riley, I ain't never been the same again. You know, because people don't, they see your dance and they see your glory, but they don't know what you've been through. They don't know, I don't know if you were hooked on something. I don't know if something was latched on you. I don't know if there's something in your past that you haven't overcame yet. Whatever it is that God has brought you out of, every time we come in his presence, doesn't matter who's in the pulpit or who has the mic, your posture, your posture should be worship. Your posture should be praise. Amen. Amen. So, amen. When I want to invoke the presence of God, Amen. I want to have my brothers and sisters with me. How about you? Amen. Because nobody can throw a real party by yourself. Throw yourself a party and nobody come. What kind of party is it? Amen. But when we come together in the spirit of unity, and Sister Betty and my dad, we begin to reflect on what God has done for us. We begin to worship collectively. And this church can experience a Pentecost every Sunday. I said, we can experience Pentecost every Sunday. 
Hallelujah to God. Where you're standing, can we just worship him? Come on, lift your hands and say something sweet to him about him. I'm talking about Sister Sylvia Young. That's her last name? Young. Amen. Hallelujah to God. We're going to keep her lifted in prayer. Another member, Sister Amber, she called me wanting prayer for a situation he's going through. And many of you, you're going through crisis in your life. But God knows how to deliver us from crisis. We got to open the door and let Christ in. Ah, we got to open the door and let Christ in. And it's all through relationship. Come on, we still worshiping. Worship, worshiping involves commitment. It involves sacrifice. When Abram took his son to the mountain, he told his brethren, me and the lad will be back. We're going to worship. But in that worship, Sister Mary, a death was getting ready. A death was getting ready to take place. Nick and Nicole, every time we come before God, we got the sacrifice. We got the worship. And in sacrifice and worship, something has to die. Something has to die. You see, because of the presence of the Lord, flesh can't glory. My yes, I can't be worried about my bills. I can't be worried about my household situation. I can't be worried about transportation. I can't be worried about, amen, my children. I, I got to focus on Jesus. We got to put our eyes on Jesus. For he is the one that will bring you out. Come on, are you worshiping? Come on, let me hear your mouth. Open your mouth. Come on. Come on, let me hear your mouth. You ain't the only one. Yeah, you're the only one. I know it hurts, but you're not the only one. You might be going through this by yourself, but trials come to everyone. Keep my shot up. Trauma on every side. When it seems, we might as well sing it. Trials come to everyone. Say trouble on every side. Troubles on every side. It seems you're going through. It seems you're going on your own. On your own. Storms may. Storms may rise. And you say winds may blow. Let me hear you. The winds may blow. Come on. The rain. The rain will. may fall. But guess what? The sun will shine. But the sun will shine. Come on, let me hear you again. sing it. Say trials come. Trials yeah, yeah, yeah. come. Come on, you say to everyone. To everyone. Trouble. Troubles on every side. It seems you're going seems through. You're going you're going through. through. Minister Corbin, you ever been there? Come on. Storms may rise and the wind may blow. The yeah. wind may and watch blow. this. The rain. Sing this tomorrow. Sing this Tuesday. You're gonna sing it Wednesday. Say he will never leave you. He will never oh, leave you. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Oh, I come to tell you, he will never leave you. He will never yeah. leave you. Be encouraged. Be encouraged.
Have you ever had a flashback on the moment where you felt like, I mean, you knew God was there. You knew that he was handling your problem. But at that moment, it just seemed like, God, where are you? Everybody said, say, this ain't for everybody, but this is for somebody. I come to let you know. I come to remind you on today. Hey, you will never leave you. No, 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 no. You're going to leave here better today after the word of God. After your encounter with God. He will never leave you. I challenge you to go home and tell somebody that stayed home. He will never leave you. I challenge you to text somebody and call somebody this afternoon and tell them. <laughs> I want you to put he, but in parentheses, Jesus. Because they might not know who he is. He will never leave you. The Bible said I'll be right there. Whoa, even to the end of the world, I'll be right there. I might be trying to encourage y'all, but I'm encouraging myself while I'm in. Come on, say, he will never leave. No, 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 no. Sometimes it hits different when you hear somebody else saying it. Sometimes things will go further when you hear a brother and sister encourage you. My mother and father saved, sanctified all my life. But there's something about when I heard another preacher, when I heard the Sunday school teacher, when I heard another prophet say the same words mom and dad have been telling me all my That goes to tell you we need one another. It takes a village. So I need you to go to at least two people and tell them, he will never. Come on, you don't know if they need to hear that. You don't know what they're going through. Come on, be obedient, be on mine. Yeah, say he will never leave you. And when you say it, I need you to mean it. And whatever else God give you to say, if God give you to say something else, say that. Say he will never leave you. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey, ha, <laughs> ha. He will never leave you. I went to my two people. Let's do the top one more time. Try your come. Try your come. Say to everyone. To everyone. Try. Got a bad, a bad low with some bad news. That's the rain. The rain. Ah. So, so Sonia, y'all to take this back to GP with you. But the sun Come on, that's the wish. So make it big. That's it. Again. Come on, put your hands together and give God a praise. Come on, Lee Lady Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. 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 Man gets no glory. Glory to God. I say, man gets no glory. Man gets no glory. I ain't just moving and jerking because I'm, I feel glory. glory. We give glory to God. We give glory to God. Not just today. You say forevermore. We give 
say today but God has given you a way of escape and look at somebody and say take it. take it come on just say take it if somebody offer you something the only way you can claim and reap the benefits is that you take it God has given everyone a way of escape God say even in the midst of your problem all the time I won't pull you out I'll leave you in the fire what does fire do to gold? It purifies it. That's all God. Come on, baby. Why are you standing over there? You got to give an announcement. I'm waiting on you. Amen. God bless you. Put your hands together for the praise team, for the prayer, for the scripture. Thank you. Amen. That was kind of weak for the praise team. They came to church Tuesday in practice when you was home looking at FBI, CIA. We're looking at Doozy Hazard. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. At this time, amen. I let you tell them, amen. But we're going to have the announcements, word to the wise, and also um, our um, updates from our lead lady, the lead lady, my only lady, lead lady Melissa Farrell. Put your hands together. Make her feel like you love her. Good morning, church. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. Everybody ought to praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. I am standing instead for um, our very own sister Takesha Young. She's on vacation, so we pray that she have a wonderful vacation and safe travel. So let's give her a hand Amen. in her absence. Yeah. So I'm going to do my best to do the announcements. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to start off with a welcome to our visitors. Do we have any visitors in the house on today? If we have any visitors, would you please so kindly stand to your feet so we can acknowledge you? Visitors, all right, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking this time to share with us. We thank you for allowing the Lord to lead you here at this church on today, and we hope that God will bless you on today, and we hope that you will receive what God has for you on today, and we pray that this won't be your last time. I know this may be your first time, but I pray that this won't be your last time. Amen. And that also goes for our viewers, the people that might be tuning in and watching us on Facebook, uh, on the Facebook page or on the um, YouTube channel. We pray that you get what God has for you and that you will come again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Would any of you would like to have a remark or tell us who who you are, where you come from, who invited you, what led you here at this time, please, if you would. Anyone? Bless you, bless you. Amen. Yeah, I want to um, say good morning to everyone. Mm-hmm. Thank the Lord for being here today and uh, my church is Oak Grove Baptist Church in Clio, Georgia. Amen. And, uh, pastor Bass is my pastor and First Lady Adrian Bass. And uh, that's the nephew right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. so he came to, uh, to our church anniversary last Sunday. And so I told him I would give him a visit. All and right. my cousin Charlotte right there. So, you know, got a couple of family up in here. I just want to thank the Lord for being here, and you all are welcome anytime our doors are open. Uh, First and third Sundays, Sunday school at 1030, regular service at 1130. And my name is Deacon Shields, Johnny Shields. Hi. I'd like to thank the Lord for being here today, and I'd just like to thank the Lord for um, some of my family in here, and that's my nephew. Minister Herbert, and um, he did come to my brother church, and um, I t- we told him that we was gonna give him a visit, and I, I know Takesha Young. I worked with her at the school, uh-huh. and um, I was she was telling me about he was he come to the church and he preached, and so I was like I said let me know when he gonna preach, so then he texted me the other day and told me that he was preaching, and yeah. I, I surprised him because I never told him that I was coming. But he sent me the time and all that, and I asked him, was it this Sunday or next Sunday? And he said, this Sunday. So I say I'll, I'll be here. And um, I go to a Bible church of God in Savannah, Georgia, where um, the pastor is Melvin, Pastor Melvin Albright and First Lady Deborah Albright. And um, i just like to say I'm so glad to be here, and some more faces in here that I know. There's some more people that I know that's up in here, and um and I just thank God that I was able to come out with y'all today. Amen. And I'm praying that this is not my last time that I'll be Amen. coming every now and then to visit. Amen. 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 Let's give them a hand. Let's give them a hand. I also would like to acknowledge. Okay. I can call her my sister. I'm going to call her my sister-in-law because this is my daughter-in-law's mother. She's visiting with us on today, but she's from all the way from Texarkana, Arkansas. That's a long way, y'all. Let's give her a hand. Let's show her a welcome, a nice hearty welcome. We thank you for being with us on today. Thank you, all of our visitors. You are in the right place at the right time and receive your blessing. Amen. Amen. Next, um, we have our prayer and fasting will be at your discretion for the month of June. Normally, we have certain days set aside. You know yourself, you know within yourself what your needs are. So use this month, use your time to take two days out of the week to do your fasting. Amen. Just let the Lord lead you. Please be intentional with our fasting. Amen. 
Amen. We have corporate prayer is every Monday at 12 o'clock noon. That's the time where we all get together wherever we are, whether we're at work, whether we're at home, outside in the garden, shopping. Just put that time aside. Monday at noon, every Monday, we must learn how to come together and pray on one accord. Matthew 18 and 30 says, when two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Remember, it is power in number. So the more of us praying together at the same time, on one accord, it's power. Amen. Amen. And guess what? It don't stop there. The prayer don't stop there. Come join us on our prayer line every Wednesday from 7 o'clock p.m. to 7.30. We have prayer. We have um, words of encouragement, words of enlightenment. We have songs. We have it's just be going on on the prayer line every every Wednesday from 7 o'clock p.m. to 7.30. If you're not doing nothing, you can dial in. The number to the to prayer line is 727-731-8690. Lock it in on your phone so it make it easy for you to just click it and dial in. The access code is 134-134. It meant meet us there Wednesday at 7.30. If you missed it that time, we always post it on our Facebook page. You can go back and listen to the recording. Amen. And it don't stop there. And it don't, the prayer don't stop there. We have the men prayer line. They every first Monday, every first Monday of the month at 7 o'clock p.m., the men is on the prayer line. You can call in. The ladies, this one ain't for us. This ain't for us. This is for the men. They're praying. The same code, the same number, 727-731-8690. Uh, for the men, same code, 134-134. Lock the number in. Men, be there every Monday, 7 o'clock p.m., the prayer. Prayer. The Bible says in Luke 18 and 1, men ought always pray and not faint. Amen? All right. Did you, did you know that Mount Pisgah has a YouTube page? Yes. We got a YouTube page. Yes. Amen. If you can't get on Facebook, everybody not on Facebook, but if you ain't on Facebook, you can go to YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. You can subscribe, like it, share it. You know, if you miss the services, you can always go back and go to the YouTube channel and, and listen and watch the services. Amen. We have announcements and everything that you can find. If you miss the announcements, you can always go back and watch the replay. Amen? Amen. Do y'all feel like a revival? Oh. Oh. I feel like a revival. Oh. It's time for a revival. Oh. It, is. <laughs> it is spring revival time. Spring revival time. We have our spring revival starting this Wednesday, June the 14th. Through June the 16th, 7.30 p.m. nightly, meet us here. Wednesday, we have the women that's going to be in charge. Women, where you at? Ladies. Women's going to be in charge of service. We have overseer Stephanie Blanks from New Jerusalem Christian Church. She will be our guest speaker. Amen. On Thursday night. With men, where you at? Men in the house. All right. On Thursday night. Thursday night, the men will be in charge. We have overseer Dr. Ernest L. Williams from Greater Love Church of Worship. He will be the guest speaker, and it don't stop there. Last but not least, bringing up the rear is our youth. Is the youth in the house? Yeah. Youth, where you at? Let's represent our youth. Our unstoppable youth will take over the service on Friday night. We will have Junior Prophet Carmen Wilson from Newborn Fellowship Ministries, Inc., We'll be the guest speaker on Friday night. So come out and get revived, rejuvenated in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Y'all ready? ready? Amen. Amen. Let's be here. Amen. And on June the 21st through the 23rd, Mount Carmel has invited our praise team and singers and their voices to their uh, community workshop concert. They're going to have uh, workshops that uh, Thursday and Friday. The workshop will be led. No, that's coming up on the 21st through the 23rd. 
It will be led by Dr. Oscar Williams from the Potter's House of Dallas, Texas. This is a great opportunity. The registration fee is $20 for each individual that would like to participate. The workshop will be from 6 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m., June the 21st to the 23rd, and they're going to pull it all together on that Saturday, June the 24th, starting at 5 o'clock p.m. We'll conclude with a concert. So if you come and be a part of the workshop, then you will participate in that, con on that um, concert on Saturday at 5 o'clock. Amen. Amen. Where are you at? Come on, youth. We're going to have Vacation Bible School. Amen. Vacation Bible School will be July the 11th through the 13th from 10 o'clock a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. Ages 4 to 18 years of age are welcome. The theme this year is Twist and Turns. Follow Jesus and change the game. Y'all got that? Twist and turns. Follow Jesus and change the game. My grandkids sing this song, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Amen. So come on out, youth, to the uh, Vacation Bible School. We look forward to seeing each and every one of you on this year. Amen? Amen. Following the Vacation Bible School, it's time for some fun, fun, fun. Y'all ready to have some fun, youth? Amen. We're going on a youth trip. Amen. We're going on a youth trip. Our youth will be at Wild Adventures July the 22nd. We will meet at the church. Please come and be on time. We will continue to make these announcements as we approach um, the time for us to go on this um, trip. The seats have been filled the seats are filling up very quickly. The members that are bringing, uh, if you want to bring your niece or your granddaughter, nephew, godchild, that, that is not a member, the tickets will be $50. Um, the monies for the trip will be due by June the 18th, which is the third Sunday. Please see Sister Sonia Riley. Sister Sonia, where you at? Just in case you don't know who Sister Sonia is, that's her in the back. She's waving her hands. Amen. See, Sister Sonia, she is collecting the funds for the trip. Amen? Amen. And it is important. I know it's summertime, and I know it's hot. It's hot outside. It's been hot this past week. But it is important that we take care of ourselves. Let's continue to be mindful, and let's continue to be inten intentional with um, making healthier choices with our diet and our exercise. Let's not forget faith to fitness. Let's continue to still try to do that one mile. If you can do a mile, if you can do two, three, whatever you can do, let's get it in. Let's get it in, and let's keep these bodies healthy. Remember faith and fitness. Amen. God is concerned. Remember, God is concerned about the whole man, the whole body. Amen. 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 Come back and join us on Thursday. Sunday. It's going to be men serving, men and women service. It's going to be Father's Day. Thursday Sunday is Father's Day. Where are our fathers at? Amen. Amen. We will be honoring our, as we honor our Heavenly Father, we're going to also be acknowledging all of our natural fathers. Amen. Grandfathers, godfathers, any father figures, we will be acknowledging our fathers on Father's Day. Amen. Amen. So come on out and let's show our men some support on Thursday. Sunday. We will still have our 30-minute prayer prior to our morning worship service, but we will not have Bible study. We want to have a, a, a morning worship service following our 30 minute prayer so let's be on time for prayer at nine o'clock and we will go directly into our morning worship at 9 30 it's father's day let's come out and let's support our men amen? amen amen and all of our members we have these cars that's in the back of the church these are just cars if you went out somewhere and you want to invite someone to service this is a card you can keep it in your purse if you keep them in your car your glove box you can just hand it out and just let people know you know where we at and what time our services start this is on our prayer line. It gives them the access code to dial in. Keep a couple of these with you in your possession. If you want to invite somebody, you can just pass that out to them. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you guys for allowing me to do the announcement today. And back into the hands of our pastor. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for those announcements. Thank you so much, Lead Lady Farrell. You did a great job. I'm sure when Taikicho watched it, amen, she'll be well pleased. Thank you so much. It's good to be informed. It's good to know where you're going. And I got a witness. How many of y'all ever got in a car with somebody? You didn't know where you was going. 
that wasn't a good feeling, amen, but it's good to be informed at what your church is involved in, what we're trying to, amen, develop in the lives of our, uh, the saints of God as well as our young people. I often say, and I'll never stop saying that, I want to see and be a part of a church that's growing, that's flourishing, that has an idea about the future. Can I get a witness? Amen, because God is about the future. Amen. The Bible says he's the same today, amen, yesterday, and forevermore. You got that right. Amen. While you're sitting there, we don't do it much, but can we give our musicians a round of applause? Come on, give it up for our musicians. They help set the atmosphere. They don't ask for anything. They don't get accolades probably like they should, but we thank them, amen, for setting the atmosphere. Amen. We Put your hands together for our organ player. Amen. Come on, give it up for our organ player. God bless you. Boy, I tell you, you look good. He said, Pastor, ain't nobody on the organ. That's what faith says. Speak those things that as though there were. Amen. We're looking for a safe, sanctified organ player. I don't need nobody coming here playing the organ. I'm sorry. Oh, God. oh Lord, I shouldn't have did that. I, but I mean that. Amen. I need you to, you, you should have a relationship with Christ, Sister Tiffany. Amen. Because we got too many of them like that. And I know what I'm talking about. Not just that, but we don't need folks in leadership positions that ain't committed. Amen. How many would, would, of you would like to go to a doctor that's not committed? Your appointment at 930, he get there at 950. Pastor, the church started at 930. Some folks, yeah, that's what I'm, oh, all right. All right, I'm meddling now. That's what you're supposed to do when you're mellow. Hey, Amen. I wish some of y'all bosses can come here and see what time you come to church. Ricky, Ricky Frazier, yeah, I said it. Ricky Frazier taught me you got to be there on time is before time. Hey, Amen. We got to be to work at 7 o'clock. Rick, be there. Come on. Every time. Huh? For over four, by, over, right at 40 years. And he ain't miss a beat. I'm saying him because, hey amen, we used to work together. And now he left me. And I'm alone. I don't know why Rick been left, left me so quick. <laughs> amen. But we thank you. Amen. You're going to do just that, especially my leaders. Amen. I need you to be present and on time. Amen. On time is before time. Can I get a witness? He said, Pastor, why are you meddling around with that? Well, Sister Renee, I'll tell you why I'm meddling with that. Because it shows your commitment. Amen. It shows what you're into. It shows, amen, if the church and the institution that God has established in the earth, how valuable is it to you? You mean to tell me you could be on time for a man that paying you under, that's underpaying you and telling you when to do this and when to do that? But when it comes to church, I got to find you. I got to call. I got to call and ask you to do stuff on program just so you could be on time. You can put your head down all you want. It don't matter. I ain't, and I ain't talking to nobody. Amen. But somebody say right is right. right. Amen. Right. I ain't trying to be a popular preacher. I'm trying to be a righteous preacher. Yeah. Amen. There's a lot of things my mom and daddy ain't do I did not like. But I went home every day. Uh -huh. they, they kept food in the refrigerator. Kept the lights on. Amen. To God be the glory. We love you. Amen. I just got this letter. Amen. I don't know how long it been in the box. Amen. But Trinity Deliverance Center, that's Pastor Nettie Pierce. When is the 11th? Great God today. That's what I say. Amen. It's kind of rough asking the church to come the day of. Amen. But I'm going to make the announcement because that's my friend. Amen. How many of y'all know Pastor Nettie Pierce? Amen. She's having her... Amen. Anniversary on today at 3 o'clock. So whomsoever will, if you can go and fellowship with our friend, Pastor Pierce, at 3 o'clock. Amen. It's going to be at Mark Carmel. Amen. I'll put it on the board so you, you, so you can see it. Amen. Right now, look at your neighbor and say, it's blessing time. Come on, it's blessing time here at Mount Pisgah. Everyone standing, if you don't mind, we're going to do it different. Stand on your feet at this time, amen, as we, amen, present our gifts unto a father that has gave us the best gift all of our lives. And I want you to purpose in your heart what you're going to give as unto everyone standing. Amen. Thank you. Amen. If you're able to stand, please stand if you're able to. 
Amen. Stand there. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your gift. Amen. Even the tithes payers. Amen. How many know we still should pay tithes? We still should give, I'm sorry, give tithes and give offering and seed offering. Amen. So many times I struggle or we struggle with, amen, mismanaging funds because we don't manage money right. How many know you can make a whole lot of money, but if you don't manage it right, you'll be living from check to check. Amen. So we here at Mount Pisgah, we want to be consistent and persistent in our tithes and our offering. I believe it's important. Why do you believe it's important, Pastor? Because the Bible tells me so. Can I get a witness? Tithes and offering is in the Old Testament as well as the New. Amen. I knew I won't get a lot of likes on that. Amen. Y'all celebrate going to Wild Adventure and all that, but when it comes to tithes and offering, Pastor, you mellow it. Well, that's what, that's what we do. We mellow because we love you and care for you. Amen. We're going to pray. We'll pray before the offering this time. Father, we thank you for the solemn assembly. Thank you for these that have come to bring the gifts into the storehouse. You said in your word, God, Lord, to bring your gifts into the storehouse that there might be meat in my house. And prove me now, said with the Lord of hosts. Father, touch these givers that's coming to give out of their abundance. Bless them, God, a hundredfold. God, that they barrel, God, that you will meet every need in their life. And they will be lenders and not borrowers. Us. They will be givers until the day they die. Father, we thank you and we believe what the Bible said. You loveth a cheerful giver. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Clap your hands and put your hands together. Give God praise. Face the wall. Start from the rear. You'll be led. Amen. Come with a smile on your face. Running over, give. And it shall come back to you. When you give. Good measure, press down, shaking the gas for rent, run it over, give, and it will come back to you, when you give, give to the Lord, give, and it will come back to you, good measure, press down, shaking the gas for rent, run it over, give, and it will come back to you. You give, give to the Lord. Say, I'm going to, I'm going to give, I'm going to give. Oh, you say, I'm going to give, I'm going to give the best I got, the best I got. Say, I'm going to give, I'm going to give. Say, I'm going to give the best I got. Say, the best I got. The best I got. Say the best I got. The best I got. Say the best I got. Amen. Thank you so much for what you have given. We pray that these funds will continue to be used for the upbuilding of the kingdom of God. If you're satisfied for what you gave, put your hands together. Come on, let heaven hear you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This young sister looks like. Sister, is your name, is that Sister Conja, listen? No, that's not. That, oh, my God. There's a young lady in Savannah named Sister Conja Evans. Amen. And you look just like her. Yes, ma'am. You got the twin in Savannah. Amen. She's saved now, so that's a good thing. Amen. I thought that was Sister Conja. But we thank all of the visitors that came out. Amen. We appreciate you. Amen. God laid it upon our hearts. Amen. About three weeks ago. I just told him last week. <laughs> I knew three weeks ago, amen, that we wanted to have this young man to bring the word of God, amen. He's proven, amen, to be one that loves God and hates sin. Can I get a witness? I mean, no, all of us should have that testimony, Sister Housie. Love God and hate sin, amen. I didn't say hate the sinner. I said hate the sin, amen. So we have asked him to come. Praise team, come on. We've asked him to come and break the bread of life. I can say so much about him, but he knows how we feel about him. He's the son of the house. After the praise team will have sung, the next speaking voice, and we're going to ask you to stand, will be our minister, Minister Antonio Herbert. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Come on, praise team. Beautiful. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Children, go to the rear. Children in the rear. How many of y'all want God to open your eyes?
of your heart on today. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes. Again, to continue to worship him. Let's not get distracted. Let's continue to worship him on today because he's been so good. And let's begin to worship before the word of God comes up today. Let's go ahead and continue to set the atmosphere. Let's not get tired on God right now. Hallelujah. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. So open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see Open the eyes of my heart, Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see. I want to see. I never before see. I want. I want to see you. To see you. I lift it up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. Pour out your power and As love. We sing. As we sing, holy, holy, holy. To see you, I lift it up. Shining in the light of your glory. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. Pour out your power and love. As we sing. Holy, holy, holy To see your high and lift it up Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love As we sing, As we sing holy, holy, holy Praise the Lord, everybody. First, giving honor to Christ Jesus, who is the head of my life. I'm glad that I'm saved, sanctified, 
Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. We give God the glory, honor, and praise on this glorious and mighty day. We give honor to my pastor, the under-shepherd of this house, of Mount Pisgah, Pastor Jonathan Farrell, to the first lady of the house, Lee Lady Melissa Farrell, to the minister, the stewards, and all their places. The atmosphere already has been set, but Minister Herbert always got a song. Minister Herbert always has a song. Fresh wind, fresh fire, flowing from the inside. Fresh wind, fresh fire, flowing from the inside. Fresh wind, fresh fire, flowing from the inside. Fresh wind, fresh fire. Flowing from the inside, fresh wind, fresh fire, flowing from the inside, fresh wind, fresh fire, flowing from the inside, fresh wind, fresh fire, flowing from the inside. Fresh wind, fresh fire, flowing from the inside. Mm. Mm. Fresh wind, flowing from the inside. Fresh wind, fresh fire. Flowing from the inside, fresh wind, fresh fire, flowing from the inside. I do that to move myself out of the way, to let the Holy Ghost step in. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we tell you, we thank you, God, for everything, O oh Lord, that was thus said, thus done, thus far in this service. Father, now I ask you, God, that Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, the Holy Ghost, the comforter that he has left us, God. Father, I ask, God, O oh Lord, that it take place and take control over my life right now in Jesus' name. Help me, Father, to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, give me understanding, O oh Lord, for what I have prepared in Jesus' name. Give me understanding, O oh Lord, to hear your voice in the spirit realm, God. Joel said, but there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giving him understanding. So, Father, I ask you for understanding. I pray that the people that are sitting in here that will watch the pre replay, God will get the understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we give you glory. 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 We have the Holy Ghost, but sometimes the musician tries to push and tries to push to almost don't want to give the history. Just go straight into what I prepared. So we're going to come from First Kings. Father, uh, Pastor, now I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> now I feel comfortable. I was telling them in the office after I prepared this word, I start to shake. 
as I wrote the last line, Shia glory, I started to shake. Tears began to flow. And the only thing I can do was just give him glory. When he asked me last Sunday to speak, I was already, you know, writing certain things down, you know, always hearing what the spirit is saying to the church while I'm uh, writing that word. When the word come forth in here on Sundays and, you know, sometimes when pastor preach, you know, the Lord give me certain things to write down why he's speaking. I don't know who needs to hear this, but there's a word inside of the word. Mm. There is a word inside of the word. That's why we come up with so many titles and, and, and so many things from the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor there is a word inside the word. I wanted to speak on worship. And I told my wife Sunday when I got home, I said, Pastor asked me to preach. And I said, well, I already got my title. You don't know what the Lord going to do. He might change it up. I'm already prepared. And as I was sitting on the bed Sunday night, he just went to giving me things and giving me. I said, great, God. He, he changed it up for real. <laughs> I said, Lord, they might don't want to hear nothing about worship. And then he just gave me a, a title. And I already knew where to go. It was in the scriptures. So we we're going to uh, do First Kings chapter 17 verses one. I mean, not verses one, verses eight through 16. So. Uh, let's give a little bit of history first. Let's give a little bit of history first. What we are talking about is Elijah. In the land where Ahab was king mm -hmm. in Jezebel. Ru there was rulers in that time. There was famine in the land. So a little bit about Elijah is, I'm not going to give you everything that I got. But I'm just going to give you a little bit of like a, you know, what Pastor said, a cliff note. <laughs> so strength and accomplishments. Predicted the beginning and the end of the three-year drought was used by God to restore a dead child to his mother, represented God in a showdown with priests of Baal and uh, Assyria. Uh -huh. Do like the old people, try to pronounce them words. Yeah. If I mess up, just say minister, you messed up. Uh, so his weakness, I'm just going to give you one. Um, he assumed he was alone in his faith. So let's go here. One more. So Ahab, strength and accomplishments, capable leader in military strategics. His weakness and uh, mistakes, the most evil king of Israel. Uh, married Jezebel, a pagan woman, and allowed her to promote Baal worship. And I believe uh, Baal was like a nature god or something like that, maybe a god or of rain and thunder, but there was famine in the land, but he was a God, a God of rain and thunder, but there was famine in the land. So that lets you know the God that they were serving didn't have no power. Because if ever there was a drought and he was a God of thunder and rain, why didn't he give his people the thunder and the rain that they're needing? Yes. Notable fact, eighth king of Israel. His uh, Jezebel, weakness and mistakes. Threatened to have Elijah killed, promoted and funded Baal worship, and believed kings and queens could rightfully do or have anything they wanted. Like I said, I'm not going to give you everything, but there it was it's a lot in there. So uh, let's go here. Verse 8, and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. Zarephath, eight miles, eight and a half miles south of Sidon, 14 miles north of Tyre. Zarephath uh, is a place of smelting shop, a workshop for the refining and smelting of metals. A small uh, Phoenician town, now Seraphan, uh, I think the New Testament call it like Serpita Sur Sur or something like that, about a mile from the coast, almost midway on the 
road between Tyree and Sedan, somewhere right there in between. Probably somewhere like Clio, Springfield, between probably like Rankin or something like that, maybe. Uh, great famine. When the heavens were shut up three years and six months, drought and famine, Ahab was the king at the time in Jezebel. Like I gave you a little bit of history. Whom he mourned that was wrong. A, uh, Tyrian God, that's who they served. Baal, Melchor, nature God, God of thunder, and so on, so on. Uh, melting makes liquid smelting. Smelting is a, uh, is a process pushing it, uh, pushing it past its melting points. Smelting is hotter than metal. So at, arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. Now he's walking in faith. Now he's going off of what God has spoken unto him. So verse 10, uh, 10 declare, so he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Uh, verse 8 is, the Lord, Lord, I'm available to hear what you are saying. Lord, I'm available to hear what you're saying. Verse 9, behold, to see with attention, observe. Verse 10, when asked for water, the command came. Someone asked you, you, you to do something, usually that person go ahead and do it. Looking at that as, as a commandment. Mom said, clean that room up. If you don't, you're going to get a whipping. That's a commandment. Dad said, you don't go out there and push that lawnmower and cut that grass. You won't get no TV. You won't get no allowance. That's a commandment. Are we in a season of obeying? This is verse 10. Are we in a season of obeying? Are we in a season of, of understanding? Are we in a season to say, Lord, I will do whatever you tell me to do? Are you in a season of obeying? So verse 10, like I already read it. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the woman, I mean, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks, and he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Verse 11, and as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me. I pray thee a morsel of bread in thy hand, small, uh, a small piece of bread, you know, a piece of food or something like that. Verse 12, and she said, as the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a curse. A curse is like a jug or a jar or something like that. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I might go in and dress it for me and my son that I that I that my son that we may eat it and die. I start to use a woman and just having like two sticks, you know, the, the curse of oil and, you know, in the meal. I start to use a woman like that. So curse and behold, gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son. That, that we may eat it and die. She already had made up in her mind what she was planning to do, what she was already preparing to do. So this man coming at the city of the gate bothering me, asking me for water, asking me for something to eat, and I already got plans to prepare a meal for me and my son to die. Some God, sometimes God gets in the way of your decisions. Sometimes God gets in the way of your motives. But you got to be willing and acceptable and understanding when, what, what, what he's saying unto you. Tell God, get in the way. Get in the way, Lord. So verse 13, 
And Elijah said unto her, fear not, fear not. These are words of encouragement now. And Elijah said unto her, fear not, go in and do as thou hast said, but make me therefore a little cake first. Let me be the first partaker. Feed me first and bring it unto me and after make for thee and for thy son. No, Pastor, it don't seem right. So you mean to tell me I need to get you water, feed you first, take care of you first before I take care of myself of what I'm already preparing to do? First, bring it unto me and after make thee f- and, and for thy son. Take care of me first. You take care of yourself later. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste. Shall not waste. Shall not waste. How many times have we ever been in a situation where the man of God has said something and we took hold upon it and put it to work? We believed it. We believe what he said. We must believe what he's saying. The barrel of meal shall not waste. Mm. This is a promise. This is a promise. She didn't have to sign no contract for the agreement. The only thing she had to do was believe. Neither shall the curse of oil fail. You're not going to lose oil. You're not going to run out. Until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. That's when it's going to run out. When rain comes upon the earth. I got a note from verse 13. Just when you thought you didn't have enough, God gave you enough. Just when you thought your life was going to get cut out, God gave you enough. Just when you thought you was going to get fired, God stepped in and he made it enough. Just when you thought you didn't have that down payment, God gave you enough. Just when you thought you didn't have enough, God gave you enough. Tell your neighbor, I must trust. I must trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not to thy own understanding. I must trust. We can't get ourselves caught up in trusting in our own selves, but we, got, we must trust in the Lord. We must trust in what the word is coming from the man of God or the woman of God. Hmm, thank you, Holy Ghost. Verse 15. And, and she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days. Many days. Don't know how many days that was, but many days. Might have could have been a week, two weeks, three weeks. We don't know. But many days. What the woman did was. She had a plan. She had a purpose, but God stepped in with Elijah. Sometimes God will send you, God will send you a place that you're not willing and wanting to go. I believe sometimes when the pastor get an invite, sometimes he might don't want to go, but God probably will say go. I'm listening to the commandment of the voice. I'm listening to what the spirit is saying. Verse 16, and the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the curse of oil fail according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah. Tell your neighbor, I got to believe what he's saying. I got to believe what he said he going to do. Mm. Why, 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 why come here and hear the word and don't believe the word? When you come to Christ, there's a place where you come in and you come to an agreement. I don't come to confess and to get baptized and to get saved to go back out in the world. You, I'm signing an agreement, but the grieving not is, is not in writing, but it's in my confession. It is in me obeying the word of God. It, it, it's me when the Holy Spirit convicts me. I got to obey Thank you, Lord. Tell your neighbor, you got to be 
prepared to give what you don't have. Using what's available. Whew. God gave me this sitting on the side of the bed. Using what's available, let God know you can handle more. Woo! Hi, yeah, glory. Using what's available, let God know you can handle more. Mm. If, if he can trust you with $500, he can trust you with $1,500. But first, you must show him that you're going to use what's available. Thank you, Lord. Mm, I feel the Holy Ghost. Verse 14, God will provide. God will provide. The way I studied this, I was supposed to go from scripture to my notes, but I just read all the way down and then I just go back and give you my notes. So you just, everything you just repeated and said, it ties into every scripture that is in here. Now, I get to the meat of everything. Tell your neighbor, it's time to eat. It is time to eat. My title is, you got to use what's available. Come on. I love Whew, the widow woman used what was available. If I don't come down your road, just say, minister, you forgot me, or you just tie your own stuff in the message. I got to use what's available. First off, let's start up in this house. Let's start up in this house. If the pastor uses the same person to open up service at the service, he got to use what's available. He got to use what's available. If the same lady got to sing every Sunday, I got to use what's available. If those same people got to sit in that sound booth every Sunday after Sunday, I got to use what's available. If that lady going to give... Uh, Help me, Holy Ghost. If that lady going to give, uh, come on, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Announcements, I got to use what's available. On, if it ain't number three prove proves in the, uh, the church, I got to use what's available. available. Whatever the church bank account is, if it ain't enough, I got to show God I'm going to use what's available. Ah, yeah, glory. Ah, yeah, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah, I remember one time growing up and something happened in the house. Yeah, and my mom, I believe, had to go to the hospital, to the doctor. I don't know if it was my brother that got killed, uh, had to go off, or was it all four of us? But I remembered I had to prepare a meal, and I didn't know how to cook. I believe I was somewhere around about maybe, might be about 11, 12 years old, didn't know how to cut the stove on, but I had to use what was available. And I remember getting a can of uh, uh, sweet peas and a can of mixed vegetables with the string beans in it. We didn't have no meat, but I had to use what was available. How I remember growing up, mom couldn't afford the batteries, and we had to put the batteries in the refrigerator to get recharged. I got to use what's available. I shake the glory. I remember growing up, and I wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but there was no jelly, so I had to use peanut butter, so I had to use what was available. Whew. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, I might come down somebody roll right now. I might come down somebody roll right now. Mom couldn't afford it, the, the new ones. Putting $5 worth of gas in the car. And somebody come up behind you and said, man, that person put $5 in the car. But they don't know. I had to use what was available. Whew, thank you, Holy Ghost. I got to use what was available. Uh, got to ride around on a donut because I didn't have enough money to buy a new tire. I got to use what was available. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, glory. Ah, uh, yeah, glory. Putting the minimum down on the light bill. I got to use what was available. Ah, uh, yeah, glory. Giving the Lord. 
God, give me the land, Lord. Oh, I, I put Lord, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Give me the land, Lord, what you can on the rent. I'm $50 short this week. I'm from $50 short this month, but I'll pay you the rest next month. Let them know I got to use what's available. Ah, shit. Ah, yeah, glory. Ah, the phone bill is sky high. I got to use what is available. Ah, it don't matter if I had to pay the phone bill with the credit card or the debit card. I got to use what is available. Ah, I might step on somebody's toes now. Missed three days of work last week. Had no PTO, car no do the next week. You short. You had to get the car rental place. The car no place. What you had, I got to use what is available. High yay glory. High yay glory. High yay glory. Oh my Lord Jesus. Oh my Lord Jesus. Needed money to put down on your house. You had to go to mom and dad. I got to use what's available. Ah, got in a fight with a guy that had to pick up a stick. I got to use what's available. Got in another fight. Had to go get big sis and big bro. I got to Use what's available. Ah, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. I bless you, my Lord. I thank you, my Lord. I might can't shout, but I can lift my hands. I got to use what's available. Ah, people that was raised in church know how to dance. But those that wasn't raised in church don't know how to dance. So I got to use what's available. Ah, if I can't raise my hand, if I can't move my feet, I can open up my mouth. I got to use what's available. I can go on and go on. I can go on. But let's go to the other side. Let's cross over. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing shine right now, God. Oh, Father, he giveth power unto the faint. Unto them that have no might, he increases their strength. Your anointing gives you strength to use what's available. Lord, strengthen me in my weakness. Strengthen me when I'm about to faint. Strengthen me when I'm imperfect. Strengthen me when I'm falling. Strengthen me when I'm failing. Strengthen me when I'm in distress. Ah, strengthen me when I'm rejected by those that don't love me, that don't that, that hate me. Strengthen me. Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Father, in the name of Jesus, strengthen me to make strength, to endure to be better. He's going to give you strength to make you strength to endure to be better, to be great. Tell your neighbor, don't give up now. Don't give up now. Don't give up now. Ah, he's giving you wings to fly above every situation. He's giving you wings to fly above every circumstance. He's giving you wings to fly above every problem. Hey! Pasha! Yeah, glory. He's giving you wings. He's giving you wings. Tell your neighbor, take off. Your neighbor, take off. Take off. Take off. It's time to take flight. Tell your neighbor, take off. He's giving you strength to fly above every problem. Uh, to give you strength not to be bound no more. He, he's giving you strength to rise above every problem right now in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me, Lord. Tell your neighbor, strengthen me, Lord. Take off on everyone that tries to keep you bound. Take off on every family member that said you wasn't going to be nothing. Take off on every friend that talked about you. Take off on mom and dad. If they don't want to live holy, you live holy. Tell them I'm taking off. If Uncle and Auntie want to continue to drink, tell them I'm taking off. Tell them I'm taking off. Tell them I'm taking off. Wife don't 
don't want to do right, go in the prayer and tell the Lord I'm taking off. Thank you, Lord. I need that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Ah, Father, run, run past everyone that say you wasn't going to be nothing. Say you wasn't going to mount up to nothing. Run. Don't get tired. And let, and let us not be weary in well-doing. For we shall reap if we faint not. Run past. Run past those that thought you wasn't going to, thought you was going to live in sin forever. Run past those that thought you was going to drink on that bottle forever. Run past those that thought you was going to live in that lottery, lottery line forever. Run past that one that thought you was going to keep going to that woo walker, that rich, that, that witch doctor forever. Run past. Run past. Run past. Tell your neighbor I'm taking off. Run. If you ain't tired, run. If you ain't scared, run. Run. This is my victory run. This is my run. That, this is my run that's going to save my marriage. This is my run that is going to get me from being in poverty. This is my run that's going to bring me out of every generational curse. Take off. Using nobody preaching until a praise break. <laughs> Great God of mercy. Ah, run past those that thought you was going to keep going to that whole house, that war house forever. Run past those. Run past those that thought you wasn't going to lay around with that man and you was a man. Run past those that thought you was going to be laying with that woman and you were one Roman. Run past those. They thought you was going to be in sin forever. They thought you was going to be dating that woman forever. They thought you was going to be laying up with that man forever. But tell your neighbor, take home. If I step on your toes, just say out. Just say, minister, you're hurting my feet. Take your shoes off. Take your socks off. Let me step up along your toes till you say out. Out saying, Lord, I need to come out. Out saying, Lord, I need to step out. Out saying, Lord, I can't live like this no more. Out just saying, Lord, I need help. I'll just say, Lord, my husband don't want to live right. But I'll say, Lord, I'm going to live right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks to God, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I could have went on and on and on. But that was enough. I was asking the Lord, was it enough? And he didn't say go back and erase this and add this. But I had more I can put in there. Saints of God, it is very important that we receive the Holy Ghost. It is very important that every time the doors are open, it is a must that you must receive the Holy Ghost. You must come to Christ. You must come out of sin. How can you live a life not operated by the will of God? I lived so long in sin that I was lost, but now I'm found. It is a must that we receive the Holy Ghost. That is a must that we receive the Holy Ghost. You can't keep coming to service after service and not accepting, not committing, not confessing, and not doing. It is important. Paul said it best. So, so they that are in the flesh.
cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Whew. If any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. I used to be like that. I was never none of his. I was born to serve him, but I wasn't his. I didn't become his until I confessed. Till I confess and got on my knees and cry for the Holy Ghost. Turn my plate over. I'm, I, I'm in the flesh, but I have the spirit. I don't live a life out of the will of God. Don't live a life that keeps you bound. Ah, yeah, glory. Ah, yeah, glory. Yeah, That very person that you are associating with in your daily walk that is not living right has you bound. Tell your neighbor, I got to cut off all those that don't want to live right. I got to cut off all family members that don't want to live right. Ooh. Those that you are associated with has you bound. They have you bound. When I first got saved, I used to be ashamed to say that I was saved. Wondering what people was going to say. Wondering what people was going to do. But I remember in the word, Jesus said, blessed are they whosoever should not be offended of me. Ah, yeah, glory. Ah, sha, yeah, glory. Ah, yo, no, 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 yeah, glory. People, it is a must and a need that we come to Christ. Some of you are battling with things that you should have been conquered. But it's your life not lining up the word. That's why you can't overcome the situation of this circumstance. Cut ties with those that don't mean you no good. Love them, but cut ties with those. Family is the main ones that keeps us bound. Friends is the main ones that talks about us. High yeah, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tara, tell yourself, say, Lord, I must cut off of those that don't mean me no good. I must live a life that my children can follow. I can't keep coming to service at the service and leaving the same way. Kids want to know scriptures, but we don't know scriptures to give them. Children are wondering why mom and dad come to service and go home and drink, smoke, cuss. Because they have never been converted. I can't sit up here and, and, and minister and, pray and be in the hedges and highways and, and minister to people. When I go home with my nephews and let them listen to rap music. That, that listen to worldly music, that, that, that listens to the worldly things. It is a must that we come to Christ. We must live by a standard. Everyone that is in here, that is out of order, say, Lord, I need help. Lord, I need help. I need help with my problems. I need help with my thinking. I need help with my doing. I need help Showing love to those that don't love me. Cut ties with those that don't mean you no good. Cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. There is a real friendship in the ministry. There is a, a real friendship in the body of Christ. But you must first be willing to accept the fact that you must change. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I hear the Bible said, come out from amongst them and be ye separated, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. 
I'm coming out. Thank you, Lord. Don't lose. Count it all joy. 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 Don't lose. For that person that is watching, that will watch in the replay, count it all joy. Count it all joy. You won't lose. There is joy on this side. There is joy on this side. Count it all joy. Don't lose. Yeah. Count it all joy. Don't lose. Count it all joy. Don't lose. Count it all joy. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for everything that was said in Jesus' name. Now clap your hands for the Holy Ghost. Clap your hands for the Father that sits high and looks low. Clap your hands for the Savior that redeemed you from out of the world of sin. Clap your hands for the one that died on the cross, that rose, that is coming back. For a church without spot or wrinkle, clap your hands. Now, Pastor Jonathan Farrell. something to run with the rest of the year oh my god thank you lord now we're going to take this time anybody need prayer we're going to open the doors of the church if you want to um join us you will need prayer right now at this time come to the altar i don't know i won't leave here the same Oh my God. Ah, yo, ro, 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 ba, sa, ka, ka, ha, ya, ka, 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 ha, ya. Oh God. Come forth. Hey God. If God is calling you today, oh my God, don't let it be too late. Come forth. Yes. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Move by your spirit right now, God. Hey, God. Mm. Let God meet you right where you are right now today. Yes. Jesus. your mind on God right now. Whatever you need this week or well, the day this week, God gonna do it. Believe that God will do it for you. Oh Lord, I thank you right now, God, for the beautiful message that went forth. God put us on the right track. 
Oh God, let us run with the fire and the Holy Ghost today, Lord God. I ask you right now, whatever they stand in the need of today, God, meet them where they are, oh God. Show them, oh God, what they must do, oh God. God, I ask you to hold their hands, God. Whatever they're going through is something in their bodies, oh God. If it's a financial need, oh God. Oh God, if it's just to get them strengthened in God to go on for you to fight this fight. Oh God, it's a fight out there, God. Oh, bye-bye, shake it, bye-bye. Oh God, I ask you to help us, oh God. Help, oh God. Yeah, bo, 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 shake it, oh God. Ha, 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 shake it. Ha, ya, 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 ya. Touch us right now, God. Help, bro, bo, sata, ye, ye, bo, 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 Oh God, I ask you right now, touching these homes right now, oh God. God, I ask you right now, seal the doors, eh? Ha ha ha. Seal the windows, oh God. God, I ask you to put a seal on these homes right now, God. Oh God, let your spirit dwell, oh God. God, I ask you to let your spirit dwell in these homes, oh God. God, I ask you right now to send the peace of joy in these homes right now, God. God, I ask you right now, restore, oh God. Renew, oh God. God, I said, do it right now in the name of Jesus. God, I ask you to heal bodies right now. Heal them all around right now, oh God. Uh, God, if it's a, a sickness, oh God, break it up right now, oh God. God, I ask you to take this sickness and move it right now. I cast out, oh, for shake it, I see high blood pressure, diabetes, oh God, oh God, arthritis, oh God. Touch right now in the vessels, oh God. Touch in the organs, oh God. Oh God, I should have cleansed right now in the name of Jesus. Put your consuming fire on these individuals right now, oh God. Move right now, oh God. God, I ask you to show up in areas, oh God, that they don't know of right now, oh God. God, show up in areas that they don't think of right now, oh God. God, I ask you to put your spirit, your Holy Spirit, and camp around their minds, oh God. Let them to focus on you, Jesus. Because you're the one God going to do it. No one else, oh God. Just believe and have the faith. To move in the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Accept him right now. And he will do it. Just for you right now. Worship him, y'all. Worship him, y'all. Give him your all right now. God, I send the peace of love among them right now, oh God. Move, 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 move. Let your spirit move right now, God.
If it wasn't for your blood, mm. if it wasn't for your blood, 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 yeah, 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 Miracle worker, promise keeper, life the Saints, I need you praying. God is feeling them even now. Way maker, way maker, way maker, way maker. You have to die. Way maker, way maker. Oh, yes. Way maker, way maker, way maker.
Didn't our hearts burn? Didn't God speak to us? The man of God say, you got to. You got to. It's a must. It's an urgency. Before you lose it, you got to use what's available. Come on, if God spoke to you personally on today, can you put your hands together for God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus, the three are one. Come on. If you enjoyed the word from the man of God, put your hands together and clap your hands by showing that you're thankful. That was some good eating right there. That was some good eating. Thank you, brother, minister. Whew. To God be the glory. Sister, you have something? Sister Mary, you, do you have anything? Amen. We try to, amen, entertain our children on their level. Amen. A lot of them don't understand and don't feel and can't grasp what we do out here. Amen. So we, amen, specifically got two individuals to bring, amen, and deliver the word on their level. And we call it Children's Church. Amen. And I always want to hear what's going on. Amen. So at this time, amen. Put your hands together. Make these children feel welcome, y'all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Oh, isn't God good? Um, Pastor, I have to give my testimony. Um, I know most of y'all are friends with me on Facebook, but um, I have to give my testimony because this is the first time I've been back in church this month. Beginning of this month, I woke up Monday morning, and I couldn't walk. Both my legs were numb, and they were tingling. And I prayed to God. I said, Lord Jesus, just give me the strength. Just give me the strength. And I kept on doing that, and I kept on doing it, and I called my daughters. They wasn't calling me back. And I just anointed my body. I kept reading the scripture that Pastor Ben gave me. I kept going through my, my, uh, my phone for scriptures. I remember the scriptures that... Uh, Minister Herbert gave me the scriptures that Minister um, Hauser gave me, the scriptures that my sister gave me. And I kept on praying. And I kept on praying. And Lord, as y'all see today, I am walking. I am walking. Yes, I'm in pain, but I am walking. God be the glory. God be the glory. When I said I couldn't get out of bed without falling down, I was so scared. I was so scared. I couldn't even tell my sister how scared I was. But I told God how scared I was. And he told me, just, just pray. Just pray and anoint your body. And that's what I did. And I fasted. And I fasted. And I fasted. And I prayed and I fasted. And thank God. Thank God. God is so good. God is so good. I don't care what y'all going through. God is so good because I'm not, I'm here today because of God. I'm here today because of God. I don't care whatever y'all going through, whatever y'all going through. God is good. Just give it to God. Just give it to God. Oh, and today these kids, our lesson today was about Jesus going up to heaven. The first thing I asked them in the back. Do they know who Jesus is? Every last one of them told me who Jesus was. Isn't that God? Isn't that wonderful? I was so amazed. Thank y'all parents. Thank y'all aunts, uncles, friends, families of every last one of these kids up here. Because without y'all, they would know who Jesus is. I didn't have to explain who Jesus was. They knew who Jesus was. Even the little one, he knew he, who he, Jesus was. So thank y'all for making my job easy back there. Because they know who Jesus is. So today, 
Jeremiah. Tell him, what's your picture of? Jesus. And what happened? Jesus went to heaven to see God. And who is God? God is Jesus' dad. Very good. <laughs> Our lesson plan demonstrated we use balloons. I try to break it down for them a little bit. Looking at a balloon, you wouldn't think, how would a balloon demonstrate Jesus? Scratching it, how Jesus scratches his arm out on the cross is how Jesus stretches his arm out for his love for us. How we fill up the balloon, this is how Jesus fill up us with his love. How he gives life is the air that comes out of the balloon. This is the comparison that I gave the kids. What does the stem represent? The three days that Jesus was in the tomb. All right. What does the air represent? The, um, the day uh, he, woke, he woke up. He's ascending to heaven to go see his heavenly father, God. Great God! So that is our lesson today. Come on! Hallelujah! Come on, give it up for these children, these young people. Amen! Thank you, Sister Mary Lewis. That was beautiful. Amen. There's no way we would come up with any type of children's church if we didn't know what they were talking about. Amen. Even though they have to take it home with them and live it, I want to hear. Did, did y'all want to hear that? Hey, I want to make sure Mary was just teaching them how to put a pin. What you do? What's your, um, your clothing line? Jewelry line. Joy. She, I, I had to make sure she wasn't back there just doing the joy thing. Using the kids like they do in, um, in China. A chop shop. <laughs> Trying to get the kids to put the, the things together for free. Amen. But they learned something. Amen. Then, then I see one of the children, Jesus, Jesus' skin looked like mine. I appreciate that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love that. Amen. I'm so full right now. I don't know what to do. Amen. From the praise team to the visitors to the offering to the praise and worship to the word. Amen. To this. Wow. Where do we go from here? Keep using what's available. That's what you do. Amen. At this time, we want to open the doors to the church. This is, amen, the best church, amen, in Cayo, Georgia. Why? Because Jesus is here. And here we're changing lives through the power of God's love. Amen. You may be watching and you want to become a member. Just put it on the screen. We go back and watch your comments. Here at Mount Pickers, we're changing lives. Yes, we are changing lives through the power of God's love. For we are changing lives. All right. I have my eyes closed. Oh, we are changing lives. Would there be another? Amen. Even you that are watching on YouTube and Facebook, you can become a member if you're here in the congregation. Changing lives, changing lives through the power, power of God's love. It's nothing but love here. Say love, 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 oh love, 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 love. What the world needs now love, love, is a little bit of love. love, love, love. Say love love, 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 love. That's what we love, are love, all about love, here at Mount Pisgah. Love, I know these people. Love, love, Amen. I want you to tell us who you are. Love, Amen. Tell love, us who you are, your name. Love, Amen. And who are you? My name is Renee Williams. I am Jasmine's mother. All right. All right. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm Jeremiah French. You know, I'm with my sister, Jasmine Farrell. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Thank you. Amen. And you want to be a member of this church? Well, we wholeheartedly accept you, amen, with all rights and privilege, amen, as members of the kingdom of God. You may be coming through Mount Pisgah, 
Amen. But you have to be born in in order to be joined in. You can join this church. You can join 24-7. You can join Planet Fitness. You can join a lot of places. But in this house, in the kingdom of God, we don't just get joined in. Look at somebody say, we got to be born in. And that's being born again. Amen. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night and said, I am an old man. I've been hearing you talking about being born again. Can a man enter inside his mother's womb? Jesus say, uh-uh. Somebody say, uh-uh. He said, uh-uh. Marvel not. Ye must be born again. And one of my jobs, as well as the stewards of this great church and the ministers, is to make sure you make Jesus your all. Make sure you commit and surrender your life to Christ. Not your Wednesday service, not your Sunday service, but 24-7, 365. And if you do that, you'll want to come every Sunday. You'll want to build an altar in your house. Because as Christians, we make mistakes. We fall short. That's what the altar is for, so that we can come to him and we can plead, amen, the blood of Jesus and present ourselves to Christ afresh. Amen. So, They say both of them say if it was the Holy Ghost. Amen. My, my job is a little bit easier. Amen. 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 So we welcome you. Amen. We have four stewards here. These are deacons, individuals, amen, that they look after, amen, the affairs of not just your personal life, but even your spiritual life. Because all the time you may not want to call pastor, especially because you know me. Amen. You may want to confide in somebody else. Amen. So we have individuals set, amen, on the wall to help and assist you in your holy Christian living. They'll help assist you in your natural living. Can I get a witness? Amen. One of our stewards is a, is a chairman, amen, uh, Ricky Frazier. Stand up, Brother Ricky Frazier, Jr. Amen. And another one is Minister Antonio uh, Herbert. Amen. Another is Brother Eric that did the scripture this morning. I thought he was going to preach. Amen. Brother Eric. Brother Eric Warner and Brother Wesley Pickney. Come on. It's a blessing to have all the stewards come to church. Amen. I love that. Amen. And we have, amen, Steward Emeritus. He probably do some work behind the scenes. I know, yeah, Steward Emeritus, Brother Abraham. Amen. He's an emeritus. Amen. He, he's retired. But I think he still be working behind the scenes a little bit, calling people and doing stuff. You don't think I don't know. If he not, he was he. <laughs> You know, it's hard to just stop something you've been doing all your life. Checking on members, check, checking on things, praying and stuff. So we appreciate your service, brother. Amen. So your responsibility, your job is to choose one of these four individuals that you want to be um, under their care. Okay, they'll call you, they'll let you know some of the, amen, rules and regulations of this particular church, amen, what your obligations are, because as members, we have obligations, amen, amen, just like in your personal home, you have obligations, how many of y'all, y'all still have to take y'all shoes, company have to take your shoes off before they come in the house, amen, y'all don't play that, y'all don't play that, let me raise my hand, I don't play that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So just like in your personal home, there's rules and regulations here at Mount Pisgah. We expect uh, certain things to, amen, come from you concerning your everyday living. And these individuals, because all, all of it, I just can't say from the full fit. So they'll be the ones that would instruct you to talk to you, to call you and tell you um, your responsibilities as members. So your job is to pick out one of these four men and say, you know what? I want to be under his watch care. I want him to be the one, amen, that I report to if I have any problems, any difficulties, or to give your dues to. You say, what's dues? You ever heard of dues? See that? That's why you need one of these guys. They can explain it to you. Amen. Brother Herbert, amen. He preached today, so amen. <laughs> well, he preached today. He might be holier than the rest of them. No, nah, all of them got it. All three of them, all four of them got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you so much. But your choice, that's what we're going to give you. Minister Tony Herbert, I don't know how long he's going to be in that position. <laughs> but he got it for now. Amen. So we welcome you. Let me give you the right hand of fellowship. Amen. To Mount Pisgah Independent Methodist Church. Savannah State says that you can go where? From here. But Mount Pisgah said you can go to heaven 
from here. All right? God bless you. We love you. Snacks in the back. Snacks in the back for the children. Do we have any last remarks? Everyone standing. We want everyone, every member, even your visitor, to come and greet, amen, our new members. Amen. Please get a picture. We're going to ask someone to get a picture. Sonia sent. Tiffany, one of y'all do the pictures. Jazz might do it. Lee, Lady Farrell, you got it? All right. These are our, our two new members. Amen. Come on, we get ready to let you go. Hey Amen. I don't know how good that picture gonna come out. That's an iPhone. Y'all know how know how we feel about iPhones here at Mount Visca. Raise your hand if you have an iPhone. All right, put your hands down. Raise your raise your hand if you have an Android. Ooh, the whole room shook. Y'all felt that? I felt. I think I either. I felt something with that. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. We love you. Amen. Stay up here. Everybody's going to come and greet you. Amen. They can touch your shoulder or shake your hand, whatever you want to do it. Amen. Let's get ready to dismiss. Amen. Let's get Usher, Usher, hold the door. Let's get ready to dismiss. Hold on. Hold on before we do that. We're going to dismiss. Give me your attention. Give me your attention. Amen. Train up a child in the way that they should go. Amen. Look at me, young man. Amen. That boy was up there clapping, saying Jesus, and tears coming down his eyes. Y'all didn't see that. God touched that young man. God touched all the children. Amen. But just the fact that he showed that, amen, vulnerable emotion. Amen. God is dealing with him. Watch how things change. The seeds y'all planted in him is getting ready to take, it's getting ready to come up. Amen. Father, we thank you for this solemn assembly. Thank you what our eyes have seen, our hearts have felt. Continue to understand the power of the message. Help us, God, to use what's available and do it now. Father, we thank you, God. We ask you to give us traveling mercy as we leave this place, but never your presence until we meet again. What I say to one, I'll say to all. Watch as well as pray. Come on and greet our new members, Brother Jeremiah French and Sister Renee Williams. For we are to the line.